Hello everyone, I'm Nighthawk64 presenting a, another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. This will be episode 4 of my playthrough series. To give some context, this episode based on the last couple. We are through the main intro of the game. We're at Hogwarts. We've been attending classes. I think the last episode we did Herbology and Potions, I want to say. And we've been exploring more of the castle. Learning more about the secrets of the ancient magic that we can uh, tap into our character. And we've been, obviously, meeting some new characters, making new friends, other students, and kind of just exploring more of the map, more of the grounds surrounding the castle. I think in this episode we're going to be, obviously, attending more classes, and we're supposed to be keeping an eye on the, like, the, the bandits that live close to Hogwarts or something. Um, yeah. I think that's I think that's kind of where, where the story is right now. But if you're watching on Twitch, welcome. If you're watching on YouTube, welcome. Hope you enjoy the gameplay. It's gonna be maybe about two hours. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But sit back, relax. I'll turn the volume up. We'll kind of see where we are on everything. So we. <clears throat> It's time to prove your duly medal and see if you're a new school champion. Maybe at the place, the front of oh, final round. All right. We probably should do that. Let's do this. I think we should do that. Final round of the duel. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost is looking for you. You can find him near the great hall. Oh. St. Nicholas is looking for us. Okay. Oh, not in the water. What is this? Sure. Oh, no. Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Smed Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Oh, an underwater adventure sounds like fun. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrally vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. What's an, yeah, what is an astrolabe? What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars astronomical pursuits but it has nearly a thousand uses fascinating device hmm. sadly i'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now still we'd love to have it returned to us it would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back hmm it sounds dangerous especially for something of mere sentimental value i understand but i'd be forever grateful of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best schedule. guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. Can you swim in this? I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her. 
Uh, yeah, quests. How do I quest? There we go. Just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Oh, there we go. Wait, you can swim in this game? Yeah. I did not I did not know this. I don't know, I'm not gonna get like attacked or something. This sounds like a setup. This must be where the pinch smedley family astrolabe is. Your stuff's full? What am I supposed to do? How do I get rid of stuff? I got too much stuff. Oh, you can destroy stuff. These are the same, basically the same. Not this. Okay, you can't dive down, it just... Ugh. Your slots are full again. find it. What the heck? Maybe this spot? <gasps> I found it. Go, go, go. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Swim back to her. We found it. So it's not really, you don't really swim, it's like fake, fake swimming. Oh my gosh, there is something in the water over there. I found it. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did, here it is. I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Nice. Thank you again, and I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Nice. I got a mermaid mask. Very cool. Okay. Quest. We want to do the last thing of this. Last dueling thing. Oh, 
run, 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 run. Wow, so cool. Oh. Alright, photo mode. How does the photo mode work? Ah. Very cool. So then you can go wide. Oh my gosh, you can go so fast. <laughs> the owl. I wish you could go outside it. Oh, you can, you can. Oh, nice. That looks really good, actually. Mm, I don't like that one as much. I like it when you can see the whole thing. Hold on, we gotta take another picture. There we go. Nice. Nice. But yeah, the photo mode actually is really nice. Run, 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 run. Oh, we just have to go right here. Nice. Uh, why is the door locked? Oh, it's fine. Future champion coming through. Yes, we're ready. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Cross Wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? Yes. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Natty. Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Championship. Okay, so break through red shields with spells like the fire making target. Okay. Incendio. Incendio. Ah. Incendio. Incendio. Ah. Ow. Incendio. Incendio. Oh, dang it. I forgot how to take a potion. Oh, tap to heal. Okay, okay. That was first try. <laughs> they made a crap breakfast out of you that round. Good to try again. Yes. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. We Good luck this. out there. We got this, we got this, we got this. Incendio. Oh, dang it. Dude, who is hitting me like that? Who is this, who is this person? Let me 
Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. This freaking kid, the one kid just keeps getting me like crazy. Pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. 
Now, to the victor goes the prize! <laughs> and so it is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment! Thank you. Thank you. It's been an honour. You earned it! You are a duelist to be reckoned with! Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. <laughs> nice. Yes. Why do I keep getting a Potato. shield? Oh, stopped. That was strange. Okay, what did I win? Here. What did I win? I don't know. Protego! Why does he keep doing the shield? I'm very confused. Shame it's over. I was just getting started. It'll stop when I talk to notes. Hello, Lucas. It's still doing it. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Uh, perhaps later. Actually, I might come back later. That's fine. Come and find me when you're ready. Okay. Let me look at quests. Oh, we want to learn Expelliarmus. Oh, during the day. Dang it. Okay. Oh, wait. You can talk to him again? Hello, Lucan. I'm ready for practice. Glad you're keeping at it. Shall I fetch the dummy? Sure. That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Okay. Excellent four. Did it work? Oh. No, I missed, I missed, I missed. Oh, I missed it again. Let me listen. Accurate. Incendio. There we go. Good one. But I definitely did it. Accurate. Incendio. Let me listen. Oh, come on, that was definitely it. Accurate. You'll get it! Okay, I'm gonna let it recharge. Incendio! Let me hurt you! Accurate! Incendio! Nice. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Couldn't have done it without you. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. <laughs> Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. <laughs> Even though you won the tournament already. I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. Okay, I gotta get us to stop doing this thing. It keeps doing this, the shield thing. Why does it keep doing that? Are we level 5? Yeah, we're level 5, right? Oh, yeah, we're level 12. Alright. Maybe if we go into, like, a new room or something, it'll stop. But Maybe it'll, if we enter, it'll stop. Nope, still doing it. 
What the heck? Alright, maybe save? Saving? Okay. Maybe reloading it will stop doing it. Yeah, I don't switch strange, it's just like keeps doing the, the shield thing. I don't know. There we go, it stopped. Perfect. Incendium. Nice. Whoa, what is this? It's a map, but I can't tell. Revelio. Oh, we need to talk to Hella Snake. That's right, that's right. Am I supposed to be out of, like, in the castle at night? Am I gonna get in trouble? It's like nighttime, right? <laughs> Whoa, the grand staircase. Kinda. <laughs> Revelio. Incendium. Accio. Incendium. Accio. Incendium. on there. Is it like changing this? No. What's this? Something. That looks exactly like me. It's so weird. We look almost the exact same. <laughs> Revelio. Oh, got that. We haven't been over here before. I don't think. Akio. Let me listen. Incendio. Daytime. Oh. Gareth? It's Gareth one. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. 
After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing wisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke cellar and grab stealing. a few dried billywig stings for me. I'm not stealing them. Sounds rather untoward. I don't know, Gareth. Secret passage to a cellar. Sounds like it's off limits. Not at all. It's a perfectly legitimate secret passage. I'd use it if I could. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Can someone buy them for you? Isn't this stealing? Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness, it's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. Can you have someone buy them for me? Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Uh, you can't go back. You can't say no. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll see. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for uh, You there! Uh, yes, you! I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Revelio. Okay, these large rank cases containing rubies, diamonds, sapphires, and emeralds are enchanted count of house points for all the houses. Nice. Okay, we want to talk to Headless Nick. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes! Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. Oh. I may be able to help. He does. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Okay. Wait, how do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Rebellion. Your safe with me. The Hogwarts architect, the Hogwarts architect shown here, is surrounded by four house mascots designed to oversee the construction. Founder. Rowena Ravenclaw is credited in creating its ever changing floor plan. Oh. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. Oh. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. What do I gotta do? Hmm. Small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. Incendio. Rotten roast beef. Oh, oh I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it, Rebellion. just right, one can almost taste it. The House Elf recipe book, rumored to contain some of Helga Hasselhoff's original creations, this book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes, like pickled triple plums, are likely an acquired taste. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Okay. What? What's the? Yeah, this one. 
We're supposed to steal it? Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else. Rebellion. Pear portrait. It tickles a pear is still life fainting of a bowl of fruit and giggle before turning into a doorknob to allow entry to the Hogwarts kitchens. Oh. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Wait, hold on, hold on. There's something Did you say here. tickle the pear? Oh, you're wandering too far. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the households. Tickle the pear. Oh. I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. <gasps> a student never will the kitchen. students. What could they want? Delicious food. Found themselves a bit peckish, likely. So you know how they make rookies. Oh, you can be in here. <laughs> It smells glorious in here. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. <laughs> she eat all the food. Wow, mm. this is so cool. Here's some beef, but it's not rotten. I'd best keep looking. Rebellion. What's this? What's this? Oh. Wow, this is so cool. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can <laughs> Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Nick sent you, didn't he? <laughs> Please help yourself. He supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Thank you. Do you conjure the food here? Don't mind students in here? Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back anytime you please. Oh. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Finky supposes not. However, Finky has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favourite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. <laughs> food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. Oh. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Huh. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Oh. Nice. Very nice of him. I thought I was going to have to sneak around in here. Wow. I've gained a new appreciation for breakfast. No kidding. <laughs> this one's like dancing. What is, what is going on over here? Oh, he's making... Washing fruit or something. <gasps> Sorry. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Rebellion. Oh, there's something going up in here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, 
Hotel Living Quarters. Ever practical creative, the house elves have a cozy village like home for themselves among the barrels. Of course, one might assume that they're really like inside the house elves, an extraordinary magic of their own. That's true, it looks really small on the outside, but it could be like a mansion on the inside. Interesting. That's cool. They're not like constrained by the laws of volume. Alright, Nick. Nope. Ah, you're back! No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Fienke sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Fienke. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. Oh. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Oh. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Is this dangerous? Is the headless hunt dangerous? Oh, the headless hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving headless ghosts. Okay. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Okay. Oh, we're just going straight there. Okay. Do stay behind me. It's a Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably going to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. But once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. <laughs> then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why? Here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. What? I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? Sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Mm. Now, please, <laughs> follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Yikes. He just wants to be accepted. What's this? Ah! Nothing like the feeling ah! of the breeze through my hair. 
Or so I oh, what is this? Spell two candles entrance something. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Yeah. What is this? My mortal life was never this entertaining. Who is it? Who's he throwing to? play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins oh hello again can you help me ah sir nicholas's young friend has he abandoned you not at all i need to speak to richard jackdaw sir patrick said his head might be around here somewhere indeed it might be hmm it is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal but if you do wish to speak with him oh why not you can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those oh. are the rules. What say you? Sh uh, sure. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvelous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Okay. Begin! Cast away the double already! Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide it, eh, Jack Daw? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. <laughs> Way to my heart's content. Is it over yet? Are we still going? Revelio. Well, good job, I suppose. But we're not through with you. Oh, what fun! I'm still this way. It is actually kind of fun to blast them off. Revelio. I've never seen it played like this. Hey, well man. done. Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Nice. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Dorier. Oh hmm? my gosh. You've earned it. It's got like the same face. Nicely as done. Us. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. Oh. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <laughs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. Uh... Wait, who cut off your head, though? 
Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. How did you steal from Peeves? How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I found them after he ran riot through the library. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. Hmm. Very well. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Okay. Hunt for the missing pages. Okay. I guess maybe it's supposed to pop up. There we go. I need to learn the disarming charm before I can follow a ghost into the forbidden forest. Oh. Expelliarmus, we gotta learn Expelliarmus first. I guess we could... How do we do the... Oh, Hogwarts map. Travel. There we go. The flu network. We'll get us there a lot faster. Rebellion. Do the repair. Yeah. Repair. No. Does it work? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yes, her gobstones. I remember. We talked to her already. What's this? Spare a moment? I could use your help. Not right now, not right now. I got too much stuff going on. Not right now. You can advance time by pushing the map and pressing R. Thank you. 
So is that it? I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Okay. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Oh no. Did I do it? That's fine. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Okay, spell the armors. Oh. This one? Yeah. Expel the armors. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Oh my gosh, that's the armors may save your life one day. Incendium! Expelliarmus! Still at it, I see. Yes. I was talking to her again. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? Did you attend Hogwarts? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I yes. see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. <laughs> I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigella's flag for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. How fascinating. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah! As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Hmm. Okay, so we learned it, so now we can go into the... Expelliarmus! Incendium! Accio! Protego! Expelliarmus! Alright, now we can go to the forest, though. This is right here. Travel. It's the closest that I have. We haven't been in the Forbidden Forest yet. This is new. How nice to see you, my young friend. Oh, dangerous. Forbidden. These areas is deemed dangerous by the ministry. Yikes. Centaur's caution. Oh, what are these? Chickens. Yes. 
Oh, what is that? No, 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 we don't want to go near that. Huh. Oh, there's like animals and stuff in here. Is there like bad guys in here? There's like tents and stuff. Revelio. For nighttime, probably. Ugh. Here I am, as good as my word. What the? All right. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you, just like a Gryffindor to brave the forbidden forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now, where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Yeah. Keep your eyes open for a bird bath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Yes. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall. And, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Oh. It says skulls. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Uh, I don't know if there should be in here. <laughs> yes. You know... The closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. This is, sp this is very spooky. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is very spooky. Nothing to do now but keep going. Gosh, there's so many signs. <gasps> oh, there actually are centaurs in here. They're over there. That's so spooky. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Here it is, here it is. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Wow, this is so cool. Oh, this definitely looks like the place. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Here's the fountain. Intramuros. Whoa. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But <laughs> Is that the best you can 
No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dawes led me. Jack Dawes tomb. Enter. Those goblins are like ready to kill us. Whoa. I wonder how big this place is. It looks very big. Oh, there's like bats in here. Action! I can shoot the symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. Incendio! There, I get it, I did it. Impressive. That must be where all this leads. Whoa. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. If any of my spells will help me through this, send you. Oh, send you. Oh my gosh, there's more. Alright, 
what is this? Are we good? Ah, oh, slots are full. Supposed to go? Yeah, we're supposed to go on here. What's over here? I wonder if I can make that come from somehow. Oh, freaking spiders. Oh. I'm glad Richard Jack Dool left me something behind for me, but where could he be? We're always too full of stuff. I can't take anything. I don't know. Can I just jump off? Yeah. Closer, we're getting closer. Oh, and spiders. Protego. over here. 
or chess. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. So that's where we need to go. Let's over here. Incendium. Potato. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but oh. I may as well help myself to this. Oh no, oh no, run, run. Just run, just run, just run. Oh no, let's get out of here. Run. Nope, nope, not fighting a bunch of spiders again. Uh, are they coming? Rebellion. Akio. Wait, we need to go. That's not even the way to go. Okay. An untouched chest. Tarotor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. So... What's this one? Well, let's just go back down. Oh, oh. So this is where we came. But we need to go over there. How do we get over there? Uh, this way? Oh yeah, this way. Duh, what am I doing? Uh, there it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. Oh no. More spiders. He's cold. What the hell is with the jack? Uh, 
Imagine how these spiders are Oh my gosh, fish. no kidding. That was so difficult. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Action. There's one. I'll need to look around okay. for the symbol. There's one right there. There's one right here. There's one right here. Okay. There we go. Whoa. We got the ball. Looks like there's someone waiting for us, then. I must be getting closer to Jack Daw's remains and those pages. Oh, yeah, this is definitely him. Right we here. meet again, Richard Jack Daw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Okay. Here it is the map that brought your doom, Jack Daw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Oh no. Oh no. Protego! Expelliarmus! Oh no. Incendio! Ow, hurt. 
Vega. Incendio. Accio. Expelliarmus. Accio. Expelliarmus. Try out that good news. Almost no. Let me reset. Expanding on this. Accio. There. Wait, what's happening? What? That's a nothing. What's happening? Another doorway. I've seen this before. I've never seen the restricted section. Oh. Another doorway. Where am I? Oh no. The room is starting to flood. Uh. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? What? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of it. What is this place? Someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. 
I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morgan are were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention, and might I presume you share our ability to see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Why is the music going so crazy? Oh, wait, what? Achievement locked. Precious talent. Oh. Enemies near target summon Aqua also pull. Oh, so you can upgrade your spells. Dark arts, you can learn dark arts. What? Core. New spell is added. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, like these are talent. Interesting. It's like the talent tree. A, f a ring of fire around you? Whoa, that's sweet. Okay, you just won. Interesting. Also pour towards you. Enemies Leviosa are also levitating. Each magic throw and catches enemies, disarm enemies. Hmm. Oh, we want to do the heal. Gets greater effect. Yeah, definitely that one. That's on our song. Stealth. I feel like definitely. Definitely this one. We haven't done room or requirement. We haven't been there yet, so I feel like I can't really do this yet. We haven't, we haven't gotten to that yet. Okay. Exit the map chamber. We're supposed to come back. Why is the music so crazy? Wanna save? Yeah. And then load back in. Well, the music won't be so crazy. I think it's like stuck on that boss fight that the music's going not so. Oh yeah, it stopped. I think it was stuck. So this is the map chamber. Where does it go? Does it exit? Like on the grounds? I oh. found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Hmm. Where did it bring us? Oh, we can flew back here. Nice.
So where are we? Incendiary. Rebellion. I'm back at Hogwarts. Oh, we are. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my study in this way. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Rebellion. So where are we? Rebellion. You need to learn to pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Oh. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Well, what is this? Dragon? Sleeping Dragon Statue, the Hogwarts motto Draco Dormans Naquim. Titalandus means never tickle a sleeping dragon. Unfortunately, this particular sleeping dragon is made of stone and will never awaken. It may be tickled, absolutely no effect. <laughs> I cannot do this for all eternity. Whoa. If I could undo all that happened that day. Okay, so what are we supposed to do next? Flying class. Heck yeah, I want to do that. We got time. We can play for a few more minutes and do another class. Yeah, we want to go to flying class. Rebellion. Urn of Ashes. This urn is rumored to be once inscription pioneer in dragon taming. Should not have started with the Hungarian horn tail. <laughs> Sun armors belong to Scragglethorpe, the head, the heedless, who unwisely challenged a mountain trolled game of musical chairs. <laughs> what the? That's funny. Just the ghosts just like floating around. It's so crazy. Okay. Flying class, flying class. Right here. Oh, we want to get this unlocked. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice. All right. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Oh. Whoa. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? <laughs> now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. 
<laughs> now, your turn. Oh, oh, up, you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Oh. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do <laughs> take care. This is brilliant. The rooms are school property. Wish I had my own. I want them returned in one piece. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Okay. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Oh, you can go faster. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! <laughs> this is rather fun! This is really fun. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Wasn't too bad. Oh, well done. Have a moment. That was cool. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? Sounds like fun. <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Okay. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? Oh, There's wait, the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Yeah. Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Oh, you just get off. Okay. 
And where have you two been? Oh, no. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my oh. instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Hmm. So we're in trouble, but not in trouble. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. I wish we hadn't gotten in trouble. Perhaps, but we did get in trouble, and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps after purchase a broom, then? If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll oh. keep an eye out for you in the sky. Okay, cool. Good to know. Doctor again. Madam Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Gryffindor should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. Oh. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. Oh, so nice. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Oh. Read mail. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Oh. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Okay, she must be... She must be introducing us to the Room of Requirement. That'd be my, that'd be my guess. Oh yeah, the Room of Requirement. Yeah, it says right here. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we have quite a few uh, quests to do. Done quite a, we've done quite a few. We did the hunting for the missing pages. Went to Jackdaw's Rest. What was the other one? Oh yeah, we f we finished the, f the championship round of uh, the wands. And we did the assignments. We did the second... Second, Defense Against Dark Arts class. Which was that one? I can't see it. I don't know which one it is on here. And we did flying class. Flying class, which is this one, which is pretty cool. Taught us how to fly. So we can get a broom, and I guess we can fly around, which is pretty, which is, sounds very fun. I don't know which, where's that one? We learned. Oh yeah, Expelliarmus, so it's this one. 
Oh, using spelling arms and charms class. It wasn't defense against star charm, it was charms. So we learned that spell. Which is pretty good. But yeah. I did quite a few. Quite a few. But I think this is where I'm gonna save. It seems like a good save point. Um before we keep going, we go into additional additional quests. Because we have quite a few now. We're kind of the the, the, the story is kinda of opening up as long as with the castle. Because we learned about the map room. And it looks like we're going to unlock the room of requirements in the next episode. Which sounds really cool. Because I guess you can do a lot of stuff in there. And a lot of customizations. And like make it your own. Which sounds pretty cool. From what I understand. But. If you're watching on Twitch. Thanks for watching. Watch on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Hope to be back soon. With some more Hogwarts Legacy. I'm enjoying this game a lot. It's very fun. Very very fun story is very interesting it's not what i expected but i'm enjoying it but thanks for watching see you next time